The final trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has dropped. Let's do this. It's an instinct. together. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. But I do. <laughs> Have I waited? And now you're coming together. Is your undoing? What uh what are you doing there, three PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. <laughs> Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. <laughs> Your destiny. Okay, real quick before I give you my full take on this one, go ahead and tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. Also, after this video is done, you can see all the other videos I've done on this movie with some of my breakdowns, theories, and stuff up in this playlist right here. I'm gonna watch it one more time, then I'm gonna start talking. So in the tradition of all the other trailers for this movie, they showed a bunch of things without really telling you anything at all. None of the trailers have hinted at the plot they haven't suggested any sort of structure for the film, the premise, inciting incident. They just give us a bunch of shots, uh, some themes that we can expect throughout the film. And then with each one, we've gotten kind of a bigger sense of the scale. This one really demonstrating that this movie is kind of a Return of the Jedi level big, massive final showdown inside of it that uh, I cannot wait to see. There's so much stuff inside of this trailer that even as I was re-watching it, that we're watching it the second time, I kept pausing to even see, like, what was that? Who said that? Like, at the end, it, you know, the, the Force will be with you, and then I listened to it several times to try and figure out if it was pretty obvious who the second voice was that was following after uh, Luke Skywalker saying that, and I'm not really sure. It sounded like a child's voice, which I, maybe I'm having a wrong interpretation, but like perhaps that's like young uh, Kylo Ren or something like that. So, um, so many things to, to talk about inside of this trailer. Most important thing that, I mean, it has me amped. I mean, I bought my tickets earlier today. I was already going to go rush out to go see this movie, but um, I, I am just very excited to see what they're going to do with this one. I've said it many times before. I was not a huge fan of The Last Jedi. I share a lot of your frustrations. I'm not someone that's like, it ruined my childhood, but I, I resonate more with the people that were frustrated with the film than the people that loved it. Then again, I mean, there's things about it that I think were really well done. I just don't like the direction Ryan Johnson decided to take things. But I'm also a pretty big fan of J.J. Abrams. I think he makes very fun roller coaster ride movies. You could debate whether that's the best direction for Star Wars. I'm sure he's going to deliver a movie that has fantastic action and a massive finale that um, is at least bare minimum. Bare minimum, it will be awesome to look at whatever he gives us in that third act of this film. 
more specific things to kind of dive into it. I, I'm not... I'm not crazy about Palpatine coming back on paper. Maybe they'll find a way to convince me. Maybe they'll have some reason that it all ties together. And go, oh, that makes sense. And however the Ray Kylo pays off with the showdown with Palpatine, maybe in the end I'll dig it. It has me pretty nervous that it doesn't feel like it feels like they're making it up as they go along and they're like, okay, mm, we got a course correct. Let's double down. Back. Let's go back again and pull back Palpatine into the mix. I, I don't know about that. Then again, Palpatine is central inside of the Skywalker saga. He started this thing way back in the day. And so the idea that he would be there in the finale is not crazy. And he disappeared in times before. He wasn't really, he's not in A New Hope. He's only barely in Empire Strikes Back. And then, you know, he's prominent in Return of the Jedi and then became really important then in the prequels. So maybe they've got a good way to bring him back that I'll see it and I'll go, okay, that makes sense. You earned what you're doing here. Uh, inside of those have the little bit with a C-3PO and um, little sentimental moment where I'm seeing my friends for the last moment. Maybe a little too too sentimental for me. Chewie were home worked. It was a much worked a lot better than this particular one that they put in there. I can see what they're going for. It did maybe go, aw. Uh, maybe a little bit too sugary sweet for me. Overall, really dug the trailer. Love that I don't know what the story is. Don't know how any of this stuff ties together. I mean, they're showing ice planets, which is got these gorgeous shots, massive battles. Multiple different kind of environments. No clue how they tie together. No clue. And I think that that's a great thing. So in general, love the trailer. Still a couple of things I'm nervous about inside of this one. How about you? Tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. If you want more Star Wars content from me, you can see my other stuff about uh, Rise of the Skywalker right there. You can see my ranking of the Star Wars movies down there. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.